Hi, welcome to a brand new video on the target individual experience, the target individual program. Uh, that's, today is Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. So you guys already know why I do these videos, right? To expose the coercive persuasion program that's being used to target us, to discredit us, to um, villainize us, okay? And the reason why we're put into a coercive persuasion program, again, is to, dis to do those things, but to also discredit us when we talk about being victims of non-consensual government human experimentation, okay? And illegal microchipping, criminal illegal microchipping okay for the purpose of remote what is called remote neural monitoring so they're testing these things out because sooner or later you'll start to hear about you know well you it's, it's already out there but they were talking about it being in one of the things that will come out into the future but let me tell you it's already here I'm a victim of it I have been implanted they have been reading my thoughts, putting things into my thoughts, words uh, into my mind, stuff like that. And you, you hear the, the fire truck sirens <laughs> again, you know, because of course they don't want me talking about what it is that they're doing. And they're doing a lot. So I want to expose a lot of the stuff that they're doing because it's happening to me. Okay? and other TIs who have taken on the mantle of exposing it and trying to put the information out there of what's being done. The community are involved. Those in law enforcement recruit members of the community to target and watch uh, targeted individuals. Our family are being deceived into targeting us. Our friends are being deceived into targeting us. Our loved ones, our significant other uh, are being deceive and also through the use of microwave mind control technology okay microwave radio wave whatever you want to call it uh, the ability to influence people's mind and their action through these technologies is real okay look up silent sound spread spectrum as well as the microwave auditory effect weapon uh, and these weapons are being classified as non-lethal directed energy weapons okay so uh, prior to the video that I did before this uh, you know a lot has taken place obviously you guys seen the last video that I did before I'm doing before this one that I'm doing right now okay so yesterday um, I was on my way to pick up uh, the kids from school and of course you know who shows up but the fire department and you just hear the fire truck sirens that were going off and so I recorded it you know I mean that's what I do and here the next one show up down there So let me uh, show on the video. So, walk down the block, about to turn to go to the kids' school. Um, yeah, Ethan uh, is in the STEM summer STEM program, and Alyssa has um, uh, summer school to get her acclimated into the school because she's going into kindergarten. So doing, you know, I've been doing videos since I've been over by Pam because tell you guys the issue that I'm having. Then on top of that, what happened last Saturday with the car that almost got us killed. Now, uh, I've been over here for the past two days now, and we'll be here again today and tonight. Now, the car is leaking antifreeze, and I don't want to drive it. So it's been parked up, okay? And I don't want to take the kids home with me because I have not been getting any sleep. I've been being put through sleep deprivation, and again, that's one of the reasons why they put bed bugs in my mattress is because I've been up all night trying, you know, killing them. 
you know, I, during the day I leave, I spray my room. I think I've did like three fogger treatment. On top of that, um, you know, the kids have been here and I've been at my house staying up all night, right, to killing any of the, you know, the few that I that remained and I've been killing them. I had encased my mattress in a uh, mattress cover, okay, and which coincidentally, okay, when I went back to look in the mattress cover, the mattress cover was unzipped. I didn't unzip it, okay. And you know, so you may say, well, you know, maybe it became unzipped on its own. No, if I show you, and I'll show you what the mattress cover looked like. Okay, there was after I zip it, there was a Velcro cover that you close down tightly, right, and that keeps the zipper in place from riding up. Okay, um, let me see if I can get this picture up so I can show you guys of the mattress uh, cover. Uh, let's see here. Um, you have to excuse me. I should have had this prepared already, but I didn't think I was going to show it. But I did take a picture of it just in case, you know, I was doing a, I was doing a video in which um, I could show uh, was, you know, how they did. Okay, so here is the mattress cover. Okay, let me expand this up. Okay, and. As you can see, so here is the Velcro strap, uh, Velcro locking, Velcro locking mechanism, right? So there's Velcro here, Velcro on the side, Velcro on the side, and Velcro, you know, over here, except for where the zipper is. Okay, and it, when I say it was undone, the zipper was undone and was beyond this point here. Okay. So I had to close it back up because again I had to, I basically took everything out of my room and I steam cleaned my rug in my room. Okay, I have a, industri a commercial rug in my room. So I had to, you know, remove everything out of my room and steam clean. Okay, I think I did like, you know, it, it took me all night. And let me tell you, I couldn't walk for half the day. I literally had to, and, and I did this on... Saturday, so Sunday I had to stay in bed all day because I could not get up, I could not move. Okay, because again, you know, doing those sort of strenuous activities hurts my back and my back locks up on me. So you know, I had to take some anti-inflammatory uh, medication that I got from the doctor, and so I took that and basically stayed in bed all day. Seriously. Okay. So anyway. <clears throat> that was that. And then, you know, uh, two days later, which was Tuesday, dropped the kids to school and uh, parked on Pam's block. Got parking, got out of the car, and I noticed that the antifreeze, when I got out of the car, I looked down on the ground underneath the car, there were antifreeze, and there was a lot. And so what I had to do, I opened up the hood, which had the engine cooled, I opened the hood, and I pour water in the reservoir, I put water in the radiator, and when I'm pouring water in the radiator, it sounded like a faucet was flowing. And when I looked to the side to see where the water was coming from, sure enough, the water was leaking like a faucet. I mean, it was continuous. So I have not moved the car except to move it on the other side of the street so they can clean and then move it back, okay? And that's what I had to do. So the car's been parked up. I can't move it until tomorrow or possibly tonight if I can um, bring it to the shop uh, and park it there and then give uh, my brother the keys because I don't want to leave the keys there. Give him the keys or I'll have to drive it tomorrow, which I don't want to do because I'll have the kids. The kids have no school on Fridays. So, and I don't want to have them in the car driving this car just in case anything happened and we get stuck up side in the heat waiting for a tow truck or what have you. I just don't want to do that. So anyhow, so yesterday now, go to uh I'm leaving to get the kids and you see that? 
by a truck again, by a truck, right? Okay. Now okay. you'll see as I walk in and the truck pulls off, you'll see the firefighter he starts playing with his hair. Okay? Because they know I'm I'm taping. So the he the minute he sees me, okay, and I'm you know I'm taping, so he starts playing with his hair. Okay? Look at these bastards. And then he stops after you know, they drive by. Okay? Tell you. Okay. Uh, and so they do. I go through this shit all the time. And that's why I'm constantly posting videos. And, you know, look, for those of you who are close minded and don't think that the government do these type of things, you know, have these sorts of program, then you really need to get educated. You really do. Okay? And if you do know and you're silent about it, you're complicit in it. Okay? And so, you know, I'm just going to expose everything that they're doing. So that was yesterday, right? Going to pick up the kids, you know. Then I noticed also within the past two days they've been targeting me with women who are of Indian, you know, ethnicity or Indian descent. Okay? And I'm just talking about Native American Indians. Uh, and I even shouldn't say uh, India, but, you know, people <laughs> from... You know who, you know they were call Indians, right? And I don't even think that's just that's the the, the proper word, but uh, they just na either Native Americans or people from India or people, women, basically women who are maybe from you know South America like Guyana, uh, the Caribbean. There's a lot of um, you know, so-called Indian. I gotta find the right term, terminology to describe people of that ethnicity. Okay, because there is no such thing as uh, Native American as being Indians. They don't come from India. Okay, they're Native American of black, of African descent, who have through adaptation okay got straight hair you know kind of a reddish skin but there's like a brown reddish you know but still they they still come from people from Africa they're still the descendants from African people just like in South America right the, the, the so called natives right so I've noticed that and even this morning so anyway I uh, woke up this morning and Pamela comes to me I'm asleep in the living room you know, because, you know, you guys know the situation. I'm very open about <laughs> that. And so she comes to me and she says to me, Hey, I just got a text saying that your account has been overdrawn by $64 and a couple cents, right? And I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't order anything. And I know uh, anything that you know that's a reoccurring charge is usually you know I have Netflix I have Spotify I have um, two things that I ordered from uh, a website that I'm paying off okay uh, this month would be the last payment on one of them and then the other one I have four payments because I do the, the the four payment method right and that was it and and it those two don't amount to what was charged to my account. So she told me, oh, it's, it's from McAfee. And I'm like, McAfee? I'm like, I don't have a renewed subscription with McAfee. I never do that. Now, for those of you who don't know, and I'm going to give you guys this bit of advice. When it comes to virus protection software, never buy virus protection software from the company that makes that software online they will charge you okay way more than you can buy them that same software in a store such as Amazon or eBay uh, you know or other stores 
that you can get for far less than what that company will charge you. And even when they're giving you a sale, like a half off sale, so let's say a year subscription of unlimited service, uh, unlimited users is $99, right? $100. Let's say $100, okay? So they, when they sell, they'll do a half off sale. So that, you know, it'll be $49.99 or what have you. Whereas if you just each year as your subscription is about to run out, you go to Amazon or eBay and order that same software from eBay or, uh, or Amazon, you will get that same software for 20 something dollars, maybe $34, okay, even less than that sometimes. You know, on eBay you can get them for like $15. So I have never ever entered any of my um, my card my debit card information on the McAfee on my account right at McAfee never ever so I was very perplexed by that and so I went online okay access my account and I went to minus subscription and saw that indeed I had a renewed subscription. Now, when I bought this, self, this software in 2017, I think I had bought it from Amazon. It was unlimited. And it was a one year, okay, unlimited user uh, subscription, not subscription, sorry, a one year limited user um you know service for the one year there was nothing anything about it says subscription base or what have you N no okay and so I had to call the Chase Bank oh well let me before I do that so Pamela got a text okay I guess a immediately after they charged me the subscription All right I didn't get a text now okay now I have made many purchases and I have a limited set on my account that if my checking account goes below fifty dollars I automatically get a text message okay I did not get that this morning right after they they charged me for that subscription Pamela did I did not because she's my representative of course you know you guys know I'm on disability so she's my representative right now Every other time after that, when my account balance go below, my checking account balance go below fifty dollars, I immediately get a text. Immediately. So why is it that this morning, okay, after she gets the text, right? I get a text an hour later, or uh, maybe more an uh, hour more later, more than an hour later. Why? Okay. Whereas, like I said, any other time, I would get. A text message immediately. It, you know, yesterday I went to the Dollar Tree and I made a charge. I bought some stuff for uh, the house, her house. You know, cleaning stuff and bought the kids uh, some snacks and myself some snacks to eat. And my account just went. My checking account just went below fifty dollars, and I immediately got a text message before I even left the store. So. You know, I put my card in, you know, press OK, blah, blah, blah. Before I walk out that store, I had a text sent to me saying that my account was below. So why is it that this morning it took over an hour for me to get a text message, okay, saying that? So you got to think about that, all right? So basically, you know, also during the week, um, I saw that they had hacked into my Facebook account, you know, and I'm tired of changing, uh, you know, passwords I mean I've I've gotten over that a, about a couple of years ago because every time I would change password they would hack into my account because this is what they do this is what they do to TIs they will hack into your account uh, especially if you're micro trip for remote neural monitoring you cannot create an account a uh, password without them knowing about it okay so that's the reason why I don't even I just kept I just keep one or two password and that's it and I don't change it okay because it doesn't make any sense. Whether I can make the password 20 characters long, uh, you know, six or seven characters long, ten characters long, it makes a diff it makes no difference. Okay, 
within a couple of days they will let me know that they've hacked into my account so they hacked into my Facebook account okay and sent out a friend request to themselves with their fake profile and accepted it right so I got one of the but of course you know Facebook to let you know because once you you accepted a friend request you get a, a message saying that you and that person are now connected to messenger because of whatever or, or such and such person may have accepted a friend request that you didn't send okay so that's what happened and on this particular user's account they talk about um, being the account being hacked okay and that right there should have I mean it did you know you know ring that bell <laughs> in my mind saying yeah they probably hacked well I know they have my Facebook account but they probably are hacking my accounts okay my online accounts and sure enough they did and so sure enough they hacked into my McAfee account and they put in my personal information including my debit card number so I can be charged a subscription fee okay so that my checking account could be in the negative okay so I had to call Chase this morning okay to let them know what happened explain to them the situation you know because the way how they did it is that it would lead back to me in terms of the person who would you know enter the information in there so I had to explain to the Chase representative I said look I have never never ever order a subscription from McAfee okay because I know better I said why would I do that when I can go online and buy the software through Amazon or through eBay for far less than they're going to charge me to renew it I have never done that okay and you can go through my statements and you'll see I have never done that okay and I gotta call McAfee and let them know what happened and they can see that every time that I have activated uh, 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 um, uh, the virus protection software is through a code an activation code that I've gotten from the software itself because you know they give you this the card right and you put in this description code right and you subscribe to it and you download the software and install it and I have never do do any subscription online through my bank card or credit card service never ever so when I explained that to the Chase representative she immediately said you know what yes you're absolutely right and she uh, you know flagged the purchase as fraudulent okay and I was able to get my money back that was taken out of my account so now I have to call McAfee which I am going to do okay and again this is uh, let me say this this is the US government that's doing this okay those members of of the police department who are uh, again uh, part of this coercive persuasion program through the state it's a state sponsored terrorism okay government sponsored terrorism that's being done to targeted individuals hacking of our software stealing of our clothes personal items uh, damaging our property okay poisoning our food this is what they do this is what a coercive persuasion is and this is what they do in a coercive persuasion and you know I can't stress this enough and so also recently again a lot of females walking past me the hands behind their back their palm facing towards me and then they ha start having and then they start having men do the same thing okay and so I want to talk about that so on my Facebook account you know I have Facebook friends that are females and I've recently saw them see them start taking pictures again with their palm facing towards the camera right in very odd shaped poses and and I was just like wow I really cannot believe this so one of my f Facebook friends that are female 
you see her here and look she's taking a picture right okay look at the odd pose that she does with her hands okay very odd like who takes a picture like this you're in a bathing suit you're beautiful you know you're, you look sexy you know but yet you're taking a picture with the palm of your hand facing towards the camera your hand finger is on your ears okay and when you look at this picture it's very awkward okay now I used to do photography before uh, even while I was uh, a target individual and then I stopped when you know uh, I had Ethan you know I had to basically take you know help Pam take care of him so I didn't really you know in the beginning I was trying but it was just too hard you know I couldn't do it and then Alyssa so I, ne I never got back into it okay and I've, I've noticed this, this girl because I shot her um, you know when I was doing my photography so you know again you see the odd pose here and this is the sort of stuff that they do so this morning you know you guys know the situation between me and Pam we're not on good terms in terms of you know our relationship wise Cause we're basically we have broken up and so even though I've been over here for the past couple of because I asked if it's okay because I didn't want to drive the car and I didn't have to take two buses in the morning to take the kids to school it would just be too much and she said okay and she's never since the time we broke up never walked naked in front of me but this morning she did okay this morning she did and whenever she passed me by her hands right on the side of her body with her palm facing towards me okay and then when I call her out on it she gets defensive oh well I don't know I'm not conscious that I'm doing it well I say well I'm, I'm letting you know so that you don't do it and then you know she gets upset okay so you know this is what's going on this morning alright then on top of that okay taking the kids to school again they have a uh, 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 young woman you know um, you know again she looks of uh, Indian descent and you know so they using again a lot of uh, people who are of Indian descent am I targeting now so again you know, the use of a new ethnic group that they haven't used before they're using now and I didn't get a a, a, a picture which I should have did but I was using my cane this morning and so I was using my cane and I was holding my daughter hand so I couldn't you know get a, f a video footage or a picture of it okay so again this is this is what they do okay so now let's get back to the the McAfee thing so now I went into McAfee to try to delete my information and I couldn't delete it okay I could not delete my information okay I try to change it couldn't do it as you can see here okay so I'm gonna go into my billing and I had to call the bank so that card number is no longer available okay so if I delete delete okay delete 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 delete, delete. Delete, and you guys, um, maybe I shouldn't have shown my phone number. <laughs> Please don't call me. I would not be answering. Okay. And so, if I go and I hit save to save this, this is what pops up. Okay. I cannot delete that. I will have to call them and have them delete that information on there. Okay? So again, there's a reason that they do these things. So now that I call the bank, they cancel my card, I have to wait for 10 to 12 days so I get a new card. In the meanwhile, 
the only how I can get money or even you know because I had to order I want to order a shoe rack you know for my house um, because you know I need it okay I'm trying to get uh, the shoes my sneakers out of on shoes underneath my bed because of this bed bug situation I can't even order that now I can't do it I have to wait right so a whole almost two weeks before I can get the card so I can make any purchase that I need to make on top of that I have to I will have to keep going to the bank to get money at the bank because I need to shop for food okay I need to pay uh, uh, some bills okay so this is the inconvenience that they want to cause me and this is the inconvenience that they have caused me and it's not the first time they've done things like this okay it's not the first time they've done this that I have to get a new card because they've hacked into my account okay and it wouldn't matter you know what I'm saying but you know I one more tell the, the people at Chase that it doesn't matter if you guys send me a new card because they they've infiltrated Chase Bank when I go to Chase Bank I'm constantly targeting it anywhere that you go as a TI okay they've infiltrated and they will get people in that organization in that business to target you okay so this is the setup before the setup right that's what I call it so fixation drill again women walking hands behind their back palm facing towards me they have men doing it now excessive repetition of routine activities so every day I they do the same thing over and over stand on the street corner targeting me fire trucks passing by uh, you know uh, heavy presence of police vehicles sleep restriction I haven't been sleeping good lately even over here, being over here by Pam where I don't have that situation that I do at home I still can't go to sleep okay still can't go to sleep and getting me so upset that sometimes you know I you know I just can't eat because of what they're doing okay like this morning I didn't even eat I took the kids to school had to wait for parking I made my breakfast around 7 o'clock I didn't get to eat it until 10.30. Okay? And while I'm outside, they're targeting me, which I'm going to show you. Okay? So all these tactics here, they have applied. Okay? Create strong, aversive, emotional arousal in the subject by use of non-physical punishments such as intense humiliation, loss of privileges, social isolation, social status change, intel intense guilt, anxiety manipulation and other techniques okay then intimidate okay okay physical or mental illness consequence the reappearance of prior physical illness drug dependence economic collapse which is what they do in here constantly trying to take money from me okay now this is the first time they've done this to where they've hacked into my account and then have a charge put on my account to where my account is negative. That has never happened. Again, trying to destroy my credit. So every time my credit is going in a positive direction, they do these things to bring it in the negative direction. This is what they're doing. Okay? This is exactly what they are doing. So let's go to another video, which is uh, this morning. So this morning, here, yeah, I had just moved the car across the street, and I'm waiting. Okay, I have to wait till 10 o'clock so I can get out the car and go upstairs. So this guy lives across the street, you know, of course, they, like I said, they, they have the majority of the people in the neighborhood participating in this stuff. He comes and he moves his car in front of me, okay? Then on top of that, he opens the car door with his bare feet, 
Now, this guy, he's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with his hands, okay? He can open the door with his hands. But again, this is something that they'll do. And they do this to me primarily at home, at my house. Like, when I'm walking in the door, my nephew or my sister uh, will be laying on the couch. And when I walk in, you know, they won't have socks on. It was just their bare feet. And they will start lifting it and shaking it up and down. Okay, and so now what they did, what they do in the home with my nephew and sister, they're now doing outside. So again, this guy opens up the door with his foot. As you can see, let me see if I can zoom in. I want to uh, zoom this in to see if you guys can see. So that's his feet, and he's wiggling his toes. Okay, he's wiggling his toes at me. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys get that. I have to look at the video and see. So he's wiggling his toes at me. Okay. Now watch what's happened. Watch the street theater play out. So here comes this woman. You know, she's wearing a green shirt and this padded skirt. She comes and she stands up here. Okay? Here's the street theater. Now here's the guy in the red shirt. Okay? As he comes, now he gets out of the car. Okay? He looks at his phone. Now watch this guy. Did you see that? As he looks into Pamela's building. Did you see the hand? Okay, he turns his palm towards me. You guys see that? And as he does that, okay, this guy, he's going to do that hand signal. He's going to do this. Okay? So as he turns his palm right there, see that? His palm facing towards me. Okay? Now you're going to see him with the, another hand signal. Wearing a white t-shirt, raise his hands over his head. And excuse the armband, the color on the armband. Again, I'm not trying to trigger any, any TIs. It's because I wear this to trigger my perps. Okay? So, again, palm off the hand. Let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe I might show it. Okay? Palm off the hand, facing towards me. And he's going to do that hand signal. And you guys, wait, wait, hold up. Sorry. Here we go. Uh, I I apologize. Um, didn't realize that the video was not showing. So let's go back again. Okay, street theater. So he opens the car door with his feet and he starts wiggling his toes. Right. So like I said, they do this to me at home when I would come in the house or if I'm in the house, my sister or my nephew would lay on the couch in the living room. And when they see me, they will lift up their feet and start shaking their feet and wiggling their toes. Okay? So now, again, that's all conditioning. Again, new linguistic programming. So now, after doing this for years and years and years, okay, now they're going to do this outside because I've already been conditioned to this. Okay? So now you're going to see the street theater play out. And like I said, I do apologize for watching, uh, for not displaying the video. Um, you know, I'm just tired. So he starts wiggling his toes. Okay, let me um, zoom in so you guys can see better. Uh, hopefully, you guys can um, view this full screen. Okay, and you guys can see. So let's go back. See, he starts wiggling his toes. You guys can make that out. Okay, now you'll see the street theater play out. You'll see this. There's going to be a, a woman that's going to be walking by. Not walking by, but she's going to walk and she's going to stand up here. She's wearing a green shirt and a, a, a kind of like a cream padded pants. Okay? And then she stands up right there. Okay? Now, you can see a guy comes. He's wearing a red shirt. There he comes. Wearing a red shirt. As soon as he gets close, now he comes out of the car. Alright? Wearing a white t-shirt. He comes out of the car. 
he comes out of the car, you'll see right there, he opens the palm of his hand and traces it towards me. Okay? This guy here, who lives across the street, he's going to do a hand signal in which he's going to raise his hands like this over his head. Okay? That's a hand signal that they do a lot to me. You guys, I've shown you videos of them doing that. Okay? Now, as he's doing that, he's going to look into Pam's building. Okay? Or maybe he did it before. He looked at the foot. Let's go back. Alright, so let's, let's go. Okay, well, I thought you looked at the hand signal. But the hand signal is there. Now, see the hand signal with hand across the head? Okay, so now, this woman now, she's going to start walking. Okay? She stops, she turns around, points, again, opens the palm of her hand. She's further so you, you can't see, but you can see it right there. Okay? Let's go back. Okay? Right there. Okay, so you see? Alright? Okay? Now he closes his door ends up there and then e eventually what he did because I stopped the recording I should have kept recording he is going to walk over here and get and sit down in the passenger seat okay that's what he's going to do so again you know showing you the street theater and how it plays out okay this is the thing that they do okay and it's not surprise again as a TI you go through this all the time it is what they do okay and so as I'm doing this video you're hearing all the sirens and this is in the morning this is morning time all right and so you see again you know they start with the noise campaign this is all noise campaign that's going on here okay and so this is what they do ladies and gentlemen this is exactly the type of thing that they do Okay? I mean, it's unbelievable, but yeah. This is the psychological tactics that they use in a coercive persuasion program. Okay? So, again, right, it is to, and let's go through what a coercive persuasion, a coercive psychological systems are. And they are behavioral change program which use psychological force in a way to cause the learning and adaptation of an ideology or designated set of beliefs, ideas, attitudes, or behavior. The central strategy used by the operators of these programs is to systematically select, sequence, and coordinate many types of coercive influence, anxiety, and stress-producing tactics over a continuous period of time. In such a program, the subject is forced to adapt in a series of tiny invisible steps. Each tiny step is designed to be sufficiently small so the subject will not notice the change in themselves or identify the coercive nature of the process being used. And that's just the beginning when they start targeting you because you don't know. Okay, and it takes a couple of years. Not one, not two, I would say possibly between five between three to five years of you being uh, conditioned, targeted, before they make you aware or you become aware of the psychological coercive nature. And, it, and, and you see the, with the hand signals, because again, the use of neuro linguistic programming. Okay? Doc NLP. Okay? So, these tactics are usually applied, because in, in the beginning, they will use your family and friends to do it. Okay? They usually apply in a group setting by well intended but deceived friends and allies of the victims. This keeps the victims from putting up ego defense we normally maintain in known adversarial situations. Now, this is what, as a TI, you have to understand that if your family or your friends or whichever family member you have left that you're around or friends that you're around that does this, you need to confront them. 
and they're gonna deny but you still need to confront them to let them know what that you know what it is that they're doing okay so the coercive psychological influence of these programs aim to overcome the individual critical thinking abilities and free will so it does affect your ability to think critically it does affect your ability to think and make decisions that will ultimately lead to your detriment. This is no, there's nothing positive about what they're doing to you. There is no positive outcome for you. Okay? As a TI. It is all negative. Whether it be lead to suicide, lead to homelessness, lead to financial loss, lead to uh, uh, destruction of the family unit, destruction of you and your significant other, the separation, the, the you know, divorce, um, you know your 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 psychological state, right? Your cognitive thinking process. It is aimed to destroy all these things. Okay. So victims gradually lose their ability to make independent decision and exercise informed consent. Their critical thinking defense cognitive process, values, ideas, and they're purposely blocking the street. This was, this is, so again, this is all street theater, right? So they're prop, uh, purposely blocking the street knowing that there's a truck that has to pass. And so now he has to keep blowing his horn, you know, while I'm doing this video. But again, this is the stuff that they do, okay? Because they know, because they don't want me to, to, to do this video. And I'm going to show you <laughs> what they've done because it took me a while before I can even do this video that I'm doing here okay so let's say they credit let's see their critical thinking defense cognitive process value ideas attitudes conduct and ability to reason are undermined by a technological technological process rather than by meaningful free choice rationality or the inher inherent uh, merit or value of the idea or proposition being presented and then it goes on to tell you how they work so again very important that you know you guys need to look and understand so before I was um, going to do this video I plugged in my phone on into the computer and all of a sudden the computer screen went blank I couldn't see anything okay I unplugged the phone then the computer screen came back I can see the computer screen and the you know the stuff on screen plug it in again the computer screen went black okay Sorry here. Let me just stop. See, they want me to look out the window. That's what it is. Okay? They 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 want me to look out the window. Once I look out the window, that truck is going to move. Okay? They will come out and they will move their car, and that truck is going to move. Okay? Again, because I go through this over and over. Right? So it, you know, it, it, I'm not surprised. You know, and I don't know the action that they want to, um, they want me to do, but I'm not, you know, I got to finish this video. So anyway, uh, let's go to the video, because immediately after I made this video and I was about to post it, okay, that I was able to plug my phone into the computer and it worked, all right? I can now see the content of my phone so let me pull up that video So see how my computer came on and came going back? When I unplugged the phone, it came back, right? Is that they that they're doing? Okay. When I connect my phone to the computer, so you see the cord? You can see the phone yep. cord here. That's what happens. My screen goes blank. Okay? My screen goes black. Now if I unplug it. See what happens? 
So they're basically now, I guess whatever uh, yeah, software, right. whatever spyware they install on my phone in order to prevent me from doing any videos. I'm sorry for the noise, ladies and gentlemen. But this is a, a tactic they employ, okay? And you guys can hear this firsthand. This is this is what's being done, okay? They try to prevent me from doing this video and possibly targeting the other TIs. Okay, so look what's happening now. Every time now that I can have to do the video again my phone to the computer to download the video. Just to my make sure that on top of that, my phone know, is extremely hot. Okay? Extremely, extremely hot. Alright? And the minute I start recording it and start videotaping what it is that they're doing, I bet you let's see if it, it happens this time, it'll my computer will come back on. Okay? I've never had this problem before, but again, because of what they've been doing to me and the fact that now they know that I'm going to do a video to talk about it, because I'm not shutting up no way, no how, this is what they're doing to prevent me from creating the video. So I have to figure this out now and, and how to get around uh, what it is that they're doing. Okay? It, it's just ridiculous, you know? These people have hacked into my account online and basically put my credit card information in in the field of my um, my uh, virus protection so and, and this is the video that I did right because I couldn't get access to the computer after I did that video I got access to my computer because I, was, I said at the end that I will be uploading this as is and after that they allowed me to get access to my computer because I was gonna put it out there anyway so it didn't make any sense for them to carry on to do you know what it is that they were doing okay so you know here is examples okay that I'm showing Wait, is this video okay All right. okay so I'm sorry so let me go back <laughs> okay so look what's happening now every time now that I connect my phone to the computer to download the video my screen goes blank on top of okay. Let me let me go back to the previous video just in case I didn't show it. Okay, I don't so want to repeat this video now. again. Every time now that I connect my phone to the computer to download the video, my screen goes blank. On top of that, my phone is extremely hot. Okay. Yep. Extremely, extremely hot. All right. And the minute I start recording it and start videotaping what it is that they're doing, I bet you let's see if it, it happens this time. It'll my computer will come back on okay I've never had this problem before but again because of what they've been doing to me and the fact that now they know that I'm going to do a video to talk about it because I'm not shutting up no way no how this is what they're doing to prevent me from creating the video so I have to figure this out now and, and how to get around uh, what it is that they're doing okay it, it's just ridiculous you know these people have hacked into my account online and basically put my credit card information in in the field of my um, my uh, virus protection software. Uh, I was explaining, you know, what had happened and such and such. And immediately after I did this video, and I said I was going to upload it to YouTube, I was able to access the phone to the computer. When I connect my phone to the computer, but this is when it first you started happening. Phone card here. My screen goes blank. Okay, the screen goes black. Now, if I unplug it, see what happens. So they're basically now, I guess, whatever uh, software, whatever spyware they install on my phone, in order to prevent me from doing any videos, okay, and what it is that they that they're doing and have been doing to me the past couple of days. So now I, I can uh, connect my phone and to the computer okay, to do my videos. Again, this is the stuff that they do to hide, again, because they don't want me talking about the stuff that they're doing. They do not want me talking about it. So this is the type of sabotage, the type of, uh, um, you know, hacking the phone, uh, installing software. So now when I 
hook it up to the computer now to take my video off I'm not able to do that this is the things that they do and this is what I want people to understand that as a TI these are the tactics and the method that these people employ to silence us from talking about it okay so now what my computer comes, comes back on uh, not my computer but my son's computer comes back on okay <clears throat> This is this is this is what they're doing. This is this is what they're doing. Okay, this this is what they're doing, people. Okay, understand this. Now I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna, which I've done, you know, hundreds of times, of plugging my phone in. So you see what happened, right? Once I unplugged my phone, the computer came back on. The computer screen came back on. Okay. So, again, this is the stuff that they do. And top of that, you know, instead of Pamela being honest with me, you know, she wants to lie or what have you, and basically, you know, string me along, you know, because, you know, when I come over here and her house is filthy, dirty, you know, I'm the one that has to clean it because I don't want my child, my children, living in an environment that's filthy and dirty. Okay. And so this is this this is that that's why. So the fact that you know they have um, you know uh, broken us up, used her friend from long ago. They're having an affair. I just found that out. They're having an affair. This guy has uh, a fiance. Okay, and I guess you know because she said to me, oh, you know he. He drives an Audi R8, you know. So again, they use these types of tactics and these types of method to break up relationships, right? And so now, again, me and her, we're never going to be together again. That that's it, you know. And so, you know, it really, you know, because I've been trying to tell her about this stuff, and you know, she's just again, this is again, this is this is what they do: just ignore it and pass it on, and you know blame me it's all in my head it's all in my mind well no I have proof I have proof that she's having an affair with this guy okay from text messages that I saw and I, I didn't have to go looking for them okay so there you go have you know, these, these perpetrators have your fun because sooner or later the day will come when you're going to get exposed for the things that you do and what you're doing and exactly the criminals that you are.